Recreate camera angles with your videos or AI-generated videos. How cool is that? Hello, everyone. So, we're able to use our existing videos to create dynamic camera motions by using a new framework called ReCam Master. This framework works with existing AI video models, like the example I'll show you soon, which uses WAN 2.1. We inject this into the WAN 2.1 AI model, and then we can transform the videos into different camera angles, motions, and synthesize them as outputs, just like the examples you're seeing right here. We've got demos of different arc trajectories and angles applied to our source videos, along with synthesized video outputs showing transitions with upward and downward trajectories in the video view. Also, we can do typical camera movements like panning left, right, tilting up, down, and so on. All of this is possible with our existing videos. It's not just like previous AI video models, where you generate images to videos and apply basic sampling processes for camera motion. It's another level of creating camera movement in AI-generated videos. So, let's check it out. The GitHub project is called Recam Master, developed by Kwai Shu, which is behind the popular AI video model called Kling AI. They've made camera motions possible using this framework and have open sourced all the basic camera trajectories through the Recam Master. Then they compiled the framework with WAN 2.1 for inferencing. You can also train using their script. Both training and inferencing code are included in the project. One of the things we're going to use is Comfy UI, which works with the WAN 2.1 models. You can download the model files from there. There's also a recompiled model file for Recom Master WAN 2.1. When videos Comfy repackaged it into Hugging Face repositories, you can use that one too. Of course, this repackaged version comes in safe tensors format, but either way, both files work. Once you download them, you put them in your Comfy UI model folder inside the Diffusion Models subfolder where your model files live. Basically, it's the usual process for downloading models. You load them up like normal. As you can see, I'm using the original Recam master model files, the CKP from Kwaishu, which are the same files available here. I've also downloaded the When Videos Comfy repackaged files compiled as safe tensor files. Since both are the same file size, most things are identical, just the file extension differs. But both work in Comfy UI just fine. As you guys might remember from the early days of Comfy UI, we had a lot of CKPT file extensions for Control Net and such, and those work too. So. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, moving on. As you can see, I've loaded our files. Now we set everything up the usual way. Loading the model, text encoder, and VAE loader. For the text encoder and VAE encoder, we're using the KJ when videos repackaged files from his repository, which I've linked in the description. You can download the text encoder, VAE, and model loader there. This is what you need to change for the WAN video wrapper to load these Recam master model files, whether you're using WAN 2.1, 1.3b, or the 480p with 14 billion parameters, it works for image to video generation. Then, we're using either the comfy repackaged Recam master 1.3b safe tensor files or the original Waishu Recam master 1 2.1. Either one works for Recam camera trajectory motions. So, as you can see, I've tested a few camera motions. Here's one I just generated using transit down. You can see the new noise added in the WAN videos wrapper. The Recam Pose visualizer will show you a graph of how it looks visually, from the starting point to the camera's ending point. Basically, it shows the frames of movement and passes that data to the camera path. This is what we'll pass to our sampler next, because in the sampler, it's able to receive the data Using the image embed here, where you have the one video sampler again, also from the one videos wrapper, you'll need the latest update of the one videos wrapper to get the Recam Master custom nodes. There are only two custom nodes for Recam Master. Very simple. You don't need to download any external files for transitions like up, down, left, right, or camera panning. All these angles are already included in the drop-down menu. 
So let's try it out with different camera angles. So far I've tested this with stock footage that was originally a still camera shot. After regenerating, it looks like this. I've tried different Recam Master generated videos with different angles and camera trajectories. You can see we're able to do transitions like transit up, tilt up, and zoom in. It's a dramatic way of zooming in on a character's face while showing all the other angles. If you forget which angle you chose, you can always go back to the preview image from the camera pose to see the visualizations of the camera trajectories you're running. It's an easy, simple way to transform videos into new camera motions. Let's try it with another video instead of this footage. I'm going to copy and combine another video here just to show off this footage demo. Then I'll use another one, say a portrait orientation instead of landscape and see if it works. I've updated my video here. I'm using another AI generated video, like a live streamer talking in front of the camera. We'll use this footage to try out the camera motions. Recam Master works best with static, stay still video shots like this. In the source video, there's no camera movement, which makes it ideal for showcasing the new motions generated by Recam Master. As you can also see in their demo on the project page, examples like this, with static camera motions, perform better. The difference is more obvious in the results of the generated Recam Master videos. Let's try this one. We'll set the camera to arc left for a different type of motion. But before that, remember to set the resize image dimensions here. You can't put full HD video dimensions into WAN 2.1 because you won't have enough VRAM to process it. We have to resize it to a suitable dimension for WAN 2.1 and then run it. As for text prompts, you don't really need to add anything here since we're using image to text. I'm using Florence 2 this time for a simple, basic way to generate image captions and pass them to the text prompt. Here in the sampling steps, we're basically doing a standard video encode-decode process with the WAN video sampler, but we're adding Recam Master. That's the core feature of this tool, to add this into our image embed and generate the result. So let's run it once and see how it looks. And here's the generated result. As you can see, it's a typical arc left motion, and the camera in our newly generated video follows that movement. Basically, Recam Master does exactly what it's supposed to do. A lot of people might think this isn't important, but if you've seen a lot of AI videos, regular videos, or movies, you'll notice they use tons of these camera motions in their shots to make them more dynamic. So far, that's what we've been able to do with a Recam Master, create different shot views, making steady camera shots like this one more dynamic and adding more motion to your generated results. Once again, remember to update your GitHub project for the Comfy UI One Video Wrapper. Once you update, you'll see hints that Remaster and some other features are updated, like Skyre A2, which is also available using the One Video Wrapper. We'll also see some other new features coming up in AI video tools soon. That's it for this video. Spend about 2 minutes generating during the sampling steps and then another 49 seconds for VAE decoding with my NVIDIA 4090 PC. That's roughly how long it takes to generate each video. And that's it for today. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day. See ya.